All right. Well, we did receive another question by a text, mm -hmm. and it reads, So Jesus laid down his life for us, even as we were sinners, but he knew he would be resurrected. So did he really give his life? Mm. I believe in Jesus, and he is my <laughs> God, but this nags me. You know, I appreciate our viewers uh, just for, for just sharing some very honest questions. Very sincere. Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you know what, usually whatever question we receive, they may be the first one to ask it, but they may not be the only one thinking it. So mm -hmm. Dr. Walleen, is there something uh, that you can point to in the word of God to help us uh, grapple with this question? In Luke 18 and other passages, Jesus mentions that he's going to be uh, killed and uh, resurrected on the third day. And it mentions that uh, all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. That's in uh, Luke 18, verse 31. So clearly Jesus did know that he was going to die and be resurrected. Um, but I, th I think we need to also appreciate the fact that when he bore our sins, and even in the Garden of Gethsemane, when he was the, facing the struggle of the cross and actually going through with it, we're told he prayed for the cup to be removed. Mm. Uh, if we look at um, uh, Luke chapter 22 and uh, verse 41, it says, he, Jesus, was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw. He knelt down and prayed saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. He didn't want to uh, be separated from his father. It was, uh, as uh, Dr. Tapp mentioned, you know, on the cross when he cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It was a separation uh, that had never been experienced before between the father and the son, the, the members of, of the Godhead. And so, um, this already, in a way, began in Gethsemane. If we look at uh, at verse uh, 42 or 43 of Luke 22, it says, Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. He would have, in fact, died right there, except that an angel came and strengthened him. Verse 44 says, mm -hmm. And being in agony, he mm -hmm. prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling to the ground. So... Uh, through this experience in Gethsemane and on the cross, Jesus was enduring and experiencing what uh, those who are lost will experience. They will be separated from God forever. They will suffer the punishment of sin, the eternal death. And Jesus tasted that for us, that we don't have to die, that we don't have to taste that death. He did it for us, uh, not for himself. And uh, on the cross, it came to the point where he couldn't see uh, to the resurrection morning mm. until uh, he came to the point of saying, uh, uh, you know, of course, the thief on the cross, he came, to, uh, we could look at that. Um, also, it's in Luke chapter 23. Um, he asked, uh, you know, if he would please uh, remember him when you come, remember me, he said, when you come into uh, your kingdom. Um, this is uh, Luke chapter 23 and uh, verse 42. And Jesus answered him, verse 43, Assuredly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. So at that point, Jesus uh, was, it was revealed to him that the thief on the cross would be saved. He had reproved his fellow thief in verse uh, 41. And uh, he believed in him, obviously, uh, when many others didn't. Even many of his disciples uh, were sad and dismayed. They thought that Jesus was Messiah. We read about that in the next chapter of Luke, the two who went on the road to Emmaus. They didn't understand. But Jesus on the cross here, um, he recognized that there was hope there would be a resurrection. He gave that hope to the thief on the cross, and uh, he died when he died. It's, it says that uh, he prayed. Uh, this is verse 46, Luke 23. When Jesus cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. So 
he had he died in faith that and and gave himself into his father's hands and really you know whether we live or die if we are in god's hands we can have that same assurance that same assurance of faith that that uh if we uh die with faith in christ it's not the end Amen.